What's up, you buffoons? We're back to play Cloudpunk. And, as usual, we're going to jump back into the story, see how much we can do, maybe finish it up. So, let's get into it. Okay. So, we left off needing to help William in Avalon Heights. Uh, pasta is still here. I'm going to eat this My pizza favorite. quick. I like it. My favorite. Ah, oh, balls. Ah, oh, balls. Ah, oh, that's good. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, all balls. Ooh. Okay, so we gotta help that AI that we saved earlier. If you guys remember, we got to choose a couple people to save. And I chose to save that one AI guy. He apparently needs help. So that's what we're gonna do. Kinda right there. And then this way. Can we just fall off? Is that a thing? No. We cannot fall off. Okay, I'm here. What did you need me to do again? I will send you to a nav point on the northern face of the building. You'll find the override switch there. I can't get to it myself. Fine, I'm on my way. I'm transmitting the building security manifest to you now. This should give you access to the terminals. Should we ask what the switch is for? Nope. But maybe it is something bad. Better we don't know. We did not like William. He was strange. Everyone is strange here. We are strange here. Hmm. You have changed. Hey, where's this attitude coming from? I'm just trying to get us through this shift. Things went bad, and I feel sad too, but... but you are becoming... hard. Are you my conscience now? Look, we should keep our heads down for a while. Ask him what the switch does. Fine, keep your wheels on, I'll ask. Hey William, come in please. What does this switch do? You must hurry. They are overrunning the building. Who is? The infected. Infected? Like a disease? Yes. It makes them crazy. They will destroy this building. They plan to unplug me. Why would they unplug the vacuum cleaner? <laughs> I am the building factor now. I was lucky enough to benefit from a series of accidents that befell my senior AIs. A string of promotions led me to be the new building manager. How fortunate. Camus, I think you were onto something. Everything has been running smoothly during my tenure. Trash is collected on time. The elevators rarely fail. So what went wrong, William? A plague. An outbreak. They have become monsters and the infection spreads by the moment. Please do not delay further. I know you may doubt me, but I confess. I am in over my head. I let things get out of hand. Perhaps the food rations were tainted or... Perhaps some nerve gas escaped due to the unnecessarily complicated air filtration systems. I cannot reach the reset switch which will isolate the infected areas. But you can. I am loath to beg, but I will beg if I need to. Maybe we should help. He sounds desperate. And you can't override the security switch yourself? The emergency isolation systems require a physical switch be activated. My consciousness has been uploaded to the building's mainframe. I have no method to leave the building, far less press a switch. And your maintenance bots, porters, no other androids can help? They were all my seniors too, and sadly, a series of random and unfortunate accidents befell them all. Uh-huh. I do not think he is a good automata. I can hear you, you know. But I still think maybe we should help the people. Let's go look at this emergency isolation switch then. We have two nav points. What's the deal, Camus? I think we should help the people. But? But I have also provided a nav point for the building manager's power input. So we could disconnect William completely? Yes, but maybe the people would suffer. Or the infection would spread. If there even is an infection. Yes. The other switch would put many apartments in the building into lockdown, isolating many residents. What would happen to them? I do not know. I think 
they would be trapped. Oh my god. <clears throat> so I was wrong. I that is not this is not the AI that we say. Um, I don't know where I got that idea from. This is not this is a different one. I don't remember where this one was, but my options are access the lockdown switch or pull the plug on William. Um and he seems like it does it seems too much of a coincidence that everything like they're making me do it. Or it's not a what am I trying to say? There shouldn't... I shouldn't have to do this, is what I'm trying to say. There's, this this guy hadn't... For some reason, all of his helpers, all of his other AI helper and bots and stuff couldn't come and do this. Like, all... Something... An accident befell them all. Of, I don't know. That just sounds weird. Plus, he's, he's talking really weird. He's talking really vaguely. Not really telling me the right... Like the th things that I want to know. And so if he's telling the truth and there's something spreading, then it would do this. But if he's just doing this for something else, for another reason, and the people will be locked in the building. I don't know. Let's just let's be an asshole today. And let's pull the plug on William. Let's be let's be not nice. I usually when I, when I make decisions, I play nice, but let's not play nice this time. Let's pull the plug. Mainframe power. Let's do it. What is happening? I'm shutting down. You hit the wrong switch. I don't think so. The infection will spread. You are responsible. I'll live with it. Goodbye, William. This is not fair. This is... This is... This is... <laughs> Unfortunate. That's my decision. I'm sticking to it. Driver 14 FC, we have an urgent contract. We need someone fast. Is that me? I bet it's me. It is. But don't take this one lightly. It's a printed heart. Someone needs it in the spire. Once you take on the mission, I'll tell Life Corp to go ahead with the print. Is it a transplant? Is someone ill? Not exactly. From what I understand, Life Corp specializes in hearts that beat to specific song rhythms. It's very fashionable in the Spire. This one is a song from the pop idol Dolly's new album. Love to help those less fortunate than me. Hold the sass, kid. This pays well, but you gotta be quick. The batteries don't last on these things unless they're feeding off biomechanical energy in someone's chest. If you're too slow, They'll need to print another. Is this well paid, at least? <laughs> For Cloudpunk, yes. For you, well, kinda. I've sent the nav point to pick it up. Good luck, kid. You should be giving me all of that. Why do you get all of the good, the good pays? What am I trying to say? Payouts. I'm doing all the work. Pick up an artificial heart from Life Corp. Okay, there it is, life orb. I'm here to pick up the heart. Now go every second. Oh counts. shit! Okay, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I have 130 seconds. Oh my god, this thing does not last very long. Oh no. Time shit stresses me out. Okay. Let's go. Go fast, go fast, go fast. Go fast. Go fast, go fast. 
get up here. Nice. Nice. Get out of my way. I have a, an important delivery. This, the music is fucking slamming. Okay. Nobody... This is an actual... I'm full cloud punk now. A timed delivery. Here we go. I'm fucking... I got it. Oh, fuck. Okay, we're, we're good. Wait, maybe not. I go in here. I got 65 more seconds. We go in here. Hard right. Let's go. Get in there. We got this. 59 seconds. Let's go. Come on. Where do I go? Oh, okay. We gotta go right. Go up. Oh, fuck. Where do I park? Oh, fuck. I gotta park back here. Fuck. Park. 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 No. Fucking park. No. Pucking. Pucking. Fark. Pucking. Fark. Shit. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. I get 15 seconds. I'm legit not gonna make it, dude. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna make it. No good, 14 FC. Might as well toss that thing in the trash. It's worthless now. Sorry, Control. You'll make the next one. It's because I couldn't fucking fart. I am not really a decryption automata. I am more of a running in a park automata. So there's no way? Scanning. There are markings on the keycard. One, seven, nine, eight, five. You're right. Whoever owned this actually wrote their PIN number on here. We should hand it back. Mr. Spacula, CEO of Spacula Enterprises. He <laughs> must have lost his Holocash card. CEO? So we will hand it back? I have a nav point for the Spacula HQ. I would like to take a look at this account first. Are we going to... I'm still deciding. Try a hollow cash key. Oh no. Return the key card to the CEO or steal it. Hey Camus, are we low on fuel? The gauge says we're good, but I'm putting my foot down and it's like we're driving through syrup. Running diagnostic. I thought this Hava was new. We have only 30% lift in the right hand rear drive. The propulsion systems have to power down to compensate. Shit, we're gonna have to go in for repairs. If this is expensive, it could wipe out our whole earnings for the night. Give me a nav point for the garage. Emmett's. Maybe he'll do a fix on the cheap. Oh. Well, I'm gonna return it. I said I was not gonna be nice, but I feel like I'm gonna get more money <clears throat> if I return it than if I steal it. So I'm just, I'm doing the selfish uh, decision and I'm going to try to make more money. Let's repair first. And then, let's go return the key card. I don't want to turn into somebody that, like, okay. I don't want to be that, oh, okay, it's so far away. That's awesome. Uh, I'm gonna return the key card first. Because that's... Too far. Um... I don't want to be a stealer. I'll be a bad purse. I just don't want to be a stealer. I don't think. Actually, no. This is why. He's a CEO and he could fuck me royally. So, I'm gonna be nice to him. 
so that I'm on his good side. Hi, I have a card to return. It's Mr. Spaculus. Please place the card in the mail receptacle. Is there a reward for this or something? Please hold. We should have just kept the card, Camus. That's what I said. You did not. Please note the authorization code for Mr. Spacula, 78D54. What do I do with this? Use this code at a holocash machine to claim your reward. Thank you. Uh, thanks. Okay. Where's a holocash thingamajigger? Is there one around here? The... There's not even one clo- oh, no. It's that weird thing. There's not even one here. So, <clears throat> let's make our way to Emmett to check our Hoba. And then on the way, if we see a Hollow Cache, we will get our reward. 78D54. Seven, eight, D, five, four. A thousand? Uh, no. Yes. One thousand. I was right. One G. Cool. I think that was worth it. I don't know how much was on the card. I'm sure, like, I would have looked at the card. It would have had maybe a little bit more than a thousand, but then they would have been pissed at me. And then something would have happened where I would have had to spend, like, some of my money to do whatever. So it would have been a loss. That's my guess. I think I did the right thing. Hello, Emmett. Hi, Emmett. I don't know if you remember me. Joe, you're here too. Hey, it's on the run, run ya. How's the delivery life treating you? Okay. Terrible. I don't know. I'm glad to see you here. Retired? That I am, from racing at least. Emmett says there's a job for me here at the garage if I want to grow old and ugly with him. He keeps giving me free beer, uh, thinking eventually I'll drink enough to go along with it. Will that work? <laughs> Probably. Come on, Rania, join us. Yeah, kid. Grab a beer. Keep a couple old men company for a while. <laughs> I'm still working. Sorry. Sky Punk keeping you busy? It's a tough gig, kid. A real tough gig. Yeah. Hey, Emmett. I think my Hava has a fault. Could you have a look at it? Sure thing, kid. Sure thing. There's just one problem. You ain't gonna stiff me on the bill, are you? I was going to try. This has been a tough shift. I think the repair costs will wipe out my earnings for the night. Well, I ain't the best mechanic in town. You can say that again. But I ain't the priciest, neither. I won't bankrupt you if I can avoid it, especially seeing as how you stole that drive converter. I... Relax, kid. We both know what you did. It was for the best. There was a big crash, Cora shifting the city around again. If you had settled my debt, I would have been in that race. I wouldn't be retired right now drinking a beer with this old crook. I'm sorry, and thank you. So let's have a look at this, Hova. <clears throat> All right, I see the problem. I'll program the servitors to replace the alternator, and... It's done. What? Seriously? That's it? That's it. Well, thanks, Emmett. Thank you. No problem, kid. That was an easy fix. Tell a friend to come here for the next refit and I'll consider us even. I will. And Joe? I don't want to hear it, Rania. We're good. Just come back and share a beer with us one night when your shift's done. Tell us stories of your adventures. That's how you can make it up to us. I will, I promise. Perfect. Free is always the best price. You have another incoming message request. From? 
It's routed through CloudPunk, but the user ID only says, Customer Feedback. Oh no, no thanks. It says, Obligatory Read. What does obligatory mean? The same as mandatory. Hmm. It means this job sucks. Read the message. Please accept a video message. I must talk with you. Our old friend, Mr. Octavius Butler. He was our friend? It's just a figure of speech, Chemist. Put him through. I don't think we're getting out of this one. I didn't think you would accept my call. I thought I owed you some kind of explanation. You don't need to feel guilty. I don't. But you need to face up to the consequences of your choices. I do, and I'm sorry for your loss. She was... A hard woman, but she was mine. I will miss her. Do you want me to say sorry? Would it help? No, I don't think so. The people you saved, were, were they good people? Who knows? I hope so. This place is broken at every level. Avalon Heights? Nivalis. Life isn't fair, I know that, but we try to make it fair, or fairer at least. Android, human, automata, are not born equal. Some of us aren't even born. Mrs. Octavius Butler wasn't perfect, but she made me feel like we were imperfect to the same degree. We were broken on the same level. I'm sorry I didn't save her. Hmm. That did make me feel better. I should get back to work. Of course. Thank you for listening to me. Goodbye, Mr. Octavius Butler. Nice, a hundred bucks. Paid for my repairs. The HOVA alert subsystem. He seems very angry. The system is a he? Yes. I communicate with many subsystems, and they often choose a gender. And all the subsystems have personalities? No, not really. Just a few of the doer ones. And a human might not think of them as personalities exactly. How do you mean? Often, automata, like me, can androidomorphize non-sentient subsystems. Android? Oh, never mind. Just tell me what the subsystem wants. He says, you have not responded to the emergency support request. I didn't hear anything. He says it is a light. This red light flickering on the dashboard? Shit, that's been going for ages. He says it is mandatory that you'd... No, I don't want to know. Driver 14FZ, are you there? Rania, you've been served an emergency support request. Oh yeah, I know, Control. I was just about to get on that. You know what it means? No idea. Another Cloud Punk driver is in distress and they forfeited their evening salary for a pickup. You're the closest. Get over there and pick him up. Is this going to be dangerous? Only for your ears. Baz seems to talk a lot, but uh, he's harmless. All right, on my way, Control. Okay, we are going to end this episode here. It's going to be, I think, a little bit shorter than normal, but we are going to end this episode here. Uh, we're going to wait to pick up the driver in distress, because he can wait. You know, distress isn't good enough for me. So we're going to wait until next episode to do that. And I'm still waiting on... I mean, things have gotten weird, for sure. But I'm still waiting on things to get super weird. Because there can't be a delivery game without something super weird happening. So I'm still waiting on that. But we're into the game pretty far. And it's bound to happen towards the end of the game. So uh, hopefully that will happen next episode. We'll find out. But thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.